Okay, hello there. Uh, welcome to the very first video of mechanics for the all level physics revision series by me, your host, uh, Mandy Dennis. I have with me a visitor today, and his name is Katabi David. He is a student also, like you. So, we are starting with our mechanics. So, under mechanics, we are going to look at the whole the whole of this branch of physics mechanics 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 oh stylus is disturbing me a little so under mechanics uh, we will look at measuring instruments we shall look at density states of matter introduction to forces turning effect of forces and center of gravity um sometimes you call that part um, moments we shall look at machines work power and energy or work energy and power we shall look at crystals and then we shall go to the, the particulate nature of matter where we shall look at a uh, brownian motion diffusion we shall look at the kinetic theory of matter sorry under the kinetic theory of matter we are going to look at the evidences where we shall look at brownian motion diffusion um we shall look at the oil film experiment surface tension we shall look at pressure look at the mechanical properties of matter um the different ones we shall look at uh, uh, um we shall look at linear motion uh, we shall look at um the um, we have floating and sinking we have fluid flow and actually that will be the end the end of the mechanic so today for the very first video uh, permit me to introduce permit me to introduce um, the first part of measuring instruments but before that we want to look at the physical quantities so physical quantities now what are physical quantities what are physical quantities I want you to understand that when we are looking at physics, measuring of physical quantities, we look at um, physical quantities. There are what we call physical quantities and non-physical quantities. So physical quantities, by definition, um, are quantities which can be measured. They can be measured and quantified with a certain numerical value. For example, you can say, that the weight of maybe a box is three newtons that means you can you can measure the weight so physical quantities are quantities which can be measured now there are some quantities which cannot be measured they are called in any physical for example you cannot measure you cannot measure anger how angry someone is you cannot say hey that one's anger measures 20 newtons you can't measure anger, you cannot measure beauty. Some people always say that you can measure beauty. No, you can't measure beauty. Always they say beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder. There is no beautometer for measuring beauty that if you put it on an ugly person, it would click red. Two, two, warning, the person is so ugly. No, no, no. We don't have such cases. So we don't have beautometers. We, some of the things, beauty, love, um... Uh, hope, faith, those, those things, those emotions, you can't measure them. They are non-physical quantities. So in physics, we are only concerned with the physical quantities. Now, the physical quantities that we look at at all level, um, we have said physical quantities are quantities which can be measured. Now, to measure them, we use specific instruments. And when we measure them, we always write them in the SI units. For example, if I say that the weight of a box, weight of a box, of a box is 3 newtons. Now, the weight, weight is a physical quantity. This is a physical quantity. Um... 3 newtons so we this is the we have we have given the weight of we have obtained that the weight of the box is 3 newtons so the 3 newtons uh if you look at the 3 newtons this part is also in two parts we have a unit here which is a numerical value of the weight and we have the the unit we have the 
three, the figure three is the numerical value of the weight, and then n, which is the newton, is the unit, the SI unit of the weight. So I will explain more as we proceed. Now, physical quantities, what we are calling the physical quantities, physical quantities are categorized in many ways. So we have basically two comparative pairs. They can be, the physical quantities can be either scalar, scalar quantities, or they can be vector quantities. They can be scalar or they can be vector. But primarily, primarily they can be fundamental. They can be fundamental. So we are saying they can be fundamental. Fundamental or derived. Or derived. So the other word for fundamental is basic basic so physical quantities are divided into um, two categories you can say fundamental quantities as one category and derived quantities if you don't divide them that way you may say physical quantities are scalar or vector quantities we shall talk about each of them as we proceed and I told you that to measure the physical quantity we always use specific instruments as we shall explore uh, as we, while we shall be looking at the different physical quantities so for now i just want to introduce um the fundamental quantities we're going to look at the fundamental quantities fundamental quantities fundamental quantities and maybe let me ask now this student that I have here David what are fin fundamental quantities you can help us remember uh, fundamental quantities these are quantities which can be expressed in terms of other quantities they are quantities which can be expressed in terms of other quantities you omitted one word they cannot be so we are saying, yeah, that was that was good, that was good, but you know we don't have to omit that part. Eh? So we are saying fundamental quantities are they are physical quantities, physical quantities, physical quantities which cannot be expressed, which which cannot cannot be expressed expressed in terms in terms in terms of other other quantities one more time what are what are fundamental quantities these are physical quantities which cannot be expressed in terms of other quantities. Exactly. So these 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 quantities, for them, they are not obtained from others. They are arbitrarily chosen. They are, they, they, they are in terms of physics, these quantities are chosen to be the foundation. Don't write fundamental. It is fundamental. There is no O when you are spelling fundamental. And we say the fundamental quantities are also called basic quantities these are quantities which cannot be expressed in terms of other quantities in terms of other quantities or in terms of other physical quantities mm -hmm. and the examples include mass they are basically they are basically five for all level we can say five um in other books you find there are seven i'll just talk about the five and to remember to remember them um you can just use you can use a simple acronym. You say M L T E T. See, it's very easy to remember. M L T E T. When I say M L T, you say E T. M L T E T. M L T E T. 
M L T E T. Okay. M is the what? The mass. Is the mass. L is the length. Is the length. Uh huh. T is the time. Is the time. E is the electric current. current. Electric what? Current. Current. And the the other T is the. The is the temperature is the temperature now what um the base theory these are the basic theory basic theory the basic theory it's like in in actually in mechanics especially for a level you realize that all all physical quantities will always relate to this theory but for now we are taking the five five we are saying M L T E T mass length time electric current and the temperature. You can use even the, the, there is a student who told me if you say um if you say if you, your name starts with a T for example you can say master loves Topista every time or master loves Timothy every time it's very easy for you to do what to remember if your name starts with a T if it doesn't start with a T Please add here to the MLT. It's and it will be very easy to remember. So those are fundamental quantities. One more time, what are fundamental quantities? These are physical quantities which cannot be expressed in terms of other quantities. Physical quantities which cannot be expressed in terms of other quantities. quantities. That is very good. And we are having these ones. Now, um, we'll look at SI units uh, later. So... From physical quantities, we get what we call derived. We call we get what? Derived. Derived. So derived quantities. Derived quantities. quantities. I will just abbreviate for now only. What are derived quantities? These are physical quantities which can be expressed in terms of other physical quantities. In terms of now, you relate to the first ones. These are physical quantities which can be expressed in terms of fundamental quantities. quantities. Or you can just say these are physical quantities obtained from fundamental quantities. quantities. These are they are physical physical quantities. What do we know about them? They obtained Obtained from what? From fundamental quantities. Obtained from fundamental quantities. From fundamental quantities. Fundamental quantities. Okay. Physical quantities obtained from fundamental quantities. Or you can say derived quantities are physical quantities which can be expressed in terms of fundamental quantities okay. please don't say um derived quantities are physical quantities which can which can be expressed in terms of other quantities not necessarily other you have to specify which those others are so you say in terms of fundamental quantities exactly now examples the examples examples of derived quantities examples of derived quantities um we are going to have any quantity apart from the mltet the, re the remaining quantities for example i will state one you give me the other i'm going to look at area mm -hmm. david give me the next one density density mm -hmm. Oh, the friction is too much here. I'll look at force. When you say force, that means I've included uh, all uh, uh, forces like weight, centripetal force, up thrust, all those forces. Mm -hmm. Volume. Volume. Two more. I'm putting acceleration. Acceleration. Mm hmm weight weight is a force here you can leave it it's also true weight is true but i'll leave it since it's already a force give me another one pressure pressure very good i think we should state more 
we should state more I'm putting speed mm -hmm. speed yes displacement this displacement displacement is is a length is a length displacement is a length isn't it yeah so it's it qualifies to be a fundamental so what you list what can you put Velocity. speed velocity is okay velocity is okay even momentum impulse and very many others and many others this is not end of teachers capacity it's etc okay <laughs> um so uh, that's just what we've looked at for now I, I promise you that we shall be making very short videos please make sure you watch the next video thank you very much